But then the second question, which was really important, was can God become a man? And, and uh, as I said, if Muslims even ask this question, they need to be shamed by that. Why Shame is that? on. Because they're assuming that God can't do something you and I can be. Mm. God can't even do what we are, which mm. absolutely eradicates his omnipotence to say nothing of his greatness, mm. which is in their statement of faith. Allahu Akbar, God is the greatest. Mm. If he is the greatest, then he can easily become a man. That's simple. Otherwise, you've taken away his greatness and you've contradicted yourself. And I would say to Muslims, shame on you for even asking that question. Mm. Question they should have asked, and this is really the question that, that really is the important one. You should never ask me whether or not God can become a man. Please, Muslims, and I say this to you who are watching, don't ever ask that question again because you're just exposing yourself to ridicule. Mm. And this is ridicule. Don't ever question God. And stop Muslims telling God what he can and cannot do. Muslims come up to me and say, you mean God went to the toilet? Hmm. And I sit there and I look and I say, what? of course he can go to the toilet. Can't your God go to the toilet? If he can't go to the toilet, your God's too small. Get a bigger God. Come on home. We've got him. Ooh, do, 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 do. If Muslims even ask this question, they need to be shamed by that. Why is Shame that? on. Because they're assuming that God can't do something you and I can't be. God thought of people similar to the Palestinians, without homes, without shelter, for the heat and for the cold God wanted to fully understand humanity and therefore God in his love decided to come down on our level in the deepest love and understanding Ooh, do, 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 do. assuming that God can't do something you and I can't be. It's God who loves you and me, and much like ants trying to go from this point to the other and cannot, you come by and you say, wait a minute, let me show them the right way. For there's a way that seems right unto man, but the way ends in destruction. So you say, I will help them. You try to show them the way, you push the nose of this one and the tail of the other, but they keep going back to their old way. So you say, I think the only way is either I become an ant or they become human. Now bear in mind that they cannot become human because they don't have the power. And suppose you have the power to become an ant. Now tell me, when you become an ant, can you show them the better way? Can you show them a sirat al mustaqim the right way? And I answer you by saying, not on your life. Because once you become a man, as a man you become an ant, and once you become an ant, you end up being just like the ants. Ooh, do, 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 do. God is the greatest. Mm. If he is the greatest, then he can easily become a man. That's simple. Otherwise, you've taken away his greatness and you've contradicted yourself. And I would say to Muslims, shame on you for even asking that question. God wanted to fully understand humanity. Once you become a man, as a man you become an ant, and once you become an ant, you end up being just like the ants.
and stop Muslims telling God what he can and cannot do. Muslims come up to me and say, you mean God went to the toilet? Hmm. And I sit there and I look and I say, what? of course he can go to the toilet. Can't your God go to the toilet? If he can't go to the toilet, your God's too small. Get a bigger God. Come on home. We've got him. So what you're saying is that we can comprehend, but we can't fully fathom. And who are we to even suggest that we can fathom that? That's true. God should be so great, so much above us, wow. that to define Him by mm. a mathematical formula, or to define Him so that we can understand Him, basically you're saying that He must be down to my level. And there is no, a true God. The true God is way above my thinking. That's true. This is a mystery that we're going to have to accept. Of course He can go to the toilet. Can't your God go to the toilet? <laughs> There is no, a true God. The true God is way above my thinking. That's true. This is a mystery that we're going to have to accept. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man at your service. <laughs> وَيَعْلَمُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ There is only one God, La ilaha illallah.